Hi there! So today I'm going to be making um, little mini flatbread shrimp alfredo pizzas. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fry up. I have two low carb tortillas here. So I'm just going to fry those up so that the they're crispy like a pizza crust. Okay, so yeah, you're going to want to fry these up enough to where they pretty much stay straight instead of floppy whenever you pick them up. So um, once those are done, then you're just going to heat up your shrimp, which I'll uh, get started with real quick. And then after that, we'll just do the toppings. It's such a simple, easy recipe. And I'm using fully cooked shrimp. Um, so all I basically have to do is just heat it up. If you, Obviously, if you're using raw shrimp, you're gonna have to make sure that those are cooked thoroughly before you put them on the pizza. Um, but yeah, these are just um, already cooked, frozen, uh, medium-sized shrimp, and I'm just sauteing them up until they're not frozen anymore. And then I'll get started with the Alfredo sauce on top and the rest of the toppings. All right, and once the shrimp are pretty much heated up, um, or thoroughly cooked, depending on if you're using fully cooked or raw. The next step is you're just going to um, smear some Alfredo sauce onto the tortillas slash pizza crust. And then um, get it started with the cheese and the shrimp. Alright, and then once you've spread on enough of the sauce that you want, um, I always go with a layer of cheese first, then the shrimp, and then more cheese. But I'll go ahead and get started with the cheese so you can see kind of what that looks like, and then I'll top it off with the shrimp. All right, so as you can see, I've already put the um, first layer of cheese on there. You're not going to completely load it down with cheese. I just like, a lot of times I like there to be a little barrier of cheese between the sauce and whatever meat choice that I'm using. So that's why I do it, but um, you're free to do it however you want. And then after you put the first layer of cheese on there, then you're just going to spoon the shrimp on there, trying to um, not take uh, any of the excess liquid or water or anything like that um, so the pizza doesn't get soggy. Okay, and then um, you're just gonna want to spread the shrimp on there so that it's like fairly evenly spaced and not just all clumped together. Um, and then you're just gonna top it with more cheese and throw it in the oven, which I've already preheated to 350. Here's a little bit of a closer look. Um, so you can see kind of how much cheese and toppings I did. Again, that's up to you. Uh, but keep in mind that even if it looks like you've piled on quite a bit of cheese, it always melts down to look way less. Um, so I'm just going to pop this in the oven. It should not take very long since everything's already fully cooked um, at 350, so probably about 10 minutes. All right, so I just pulled them out and it ended up taking um, just under 10 minutes and they are perfectly done. So I'm just gonna let them cool just a little bit and then I'll slice them up and serve them. All right, you guys, uh, y'all enjoy. And be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to see all the new recipes I'm gonna be coming out with. Have a great one.